Det er nogen, Morten som kommer til at sige, at man risikerer jo at udlede yderfløjene. Er du bekymret for, at det kan blive resultatet af en midterregering? Jeg har simpelthen så utrolig stor respekt for den måde, hvor vælgerne har samme tid på. Det handler om at samarbejde. The call for general election was uh, actually made by another party, uh, which is uh, kind of a rare thing in Denmark. Uh, they said they, they don't have the necessary trust in, in the current government. Well, she had a very good election for the Social Democratic Party, uh, but uh, unfortunately she, she, she does not have the necessary mandates behind her. So she, she, so she resigned and told the Queen that she uh, maybe seeks a new mandate to form a new uh, government. Usually it takes about 14 days or something to form a new government. So, and this the situation is a bit more awkward this time. So maybe, yeah, three, four weeks. I think that Metropolitan has a fair chance to become prime minister again. She she kind of had a very good election. If foreigners look at us, they all think we're insane. But 12 parties that have to that have to form some kind of majority, and I think um, the way that the election went, and there is this centre-left uh, majority, I think Mette Frederiksen will probably make a new government again. But you know, it's Danish politics. It's 12 parties. Still, a lot of things can happen. Nej, men det her det handler om det politiske indhold, og hvad vi kan blive enige om. Det handler ikke om at udelukke nogen, så det kommer vi ikke til. Men nogle andre om at øge velfærdsudgifterne, men nogle tredje, hvis ikke der er nogen, der tager et fælles ansvar for os at skaffe penge. Og det er jo det, en regering hen over midten ville kunne gøre. Ikke?